Melanin endows blacks with greater mental, physical, and spiritual abilities, something which cannot be measured based on Eurocentric standards. And spiritual abilities. And spiritual abilities. and spiritual abilities. Three Lazarus. Of the black and brown people of the world, the true Druze or your true you are the so-called black person or African American, as you like to call them sometimes. Um, they're not African at all. They're the true Jews. They're the true Hebrews that were brought over here on ships, which the scriptures mention. If y'all are going to believe these lies, you're going to get misled. And that's the purpose of this. It's not about color. It's not about this and that. It's about identity theft. People's identity was stolen. They are the true Yehuda. The black people. And when I first came in the Torah and there was none of the black people, and I just got kind of upset finally after and I says, how come it's just the black people? Where do I belong? What is another word for bondage? Slavery. So the reason that the Israelites went into slavery is because they chose not to keep the covenant that God made with them and them only. So they call themselves black African-Americans. And really what they should be talking themselves is they are what? The Hebrews and the Jews of the original temple of the city of David. Now do you get the picture? Late in 2016 um, is when I hear that the black people brought here on the slave ships could possibly be the same people that the whole Old Testament is written about, the Israelites. And so I started to research that and read and watch videos and read things online. and. It, especially after reading Deuteronomy chapter 28, um, the first half of the chapter is the, is the blessings that Israel will receive if they just keep the commands. That's all they had to do. And then the, um, the second half is the, the curses that are going to fall on them if they don't keep the commands. Please go read those. Go read those and think about what these people have been through since day one of arriving in this country as slaves. And you um, uh, just make up your own mind and pray about it and see where the Father leads you on that. That's all I can say. Um, for me, personally, this is my journey. And for me, it brought the scriptures alive to me. Like, I believed it. Like, these are, to me, his people that... Um, are still living this crime. Black people over here getting killed, the black people in other countries scattered in the slave trade. That's the real biblical Hebrew Israelite. So as a Gentile, I'm here to profess, black people, you are Israelites, you are the chosen ones, you are a prestigious people. The black people, the people of color that are here, that have been brought here from Africa, their ancestors brought here from Africa, are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, they're even in the uh, African dictionary, African and Negro are two different things, are two different classifications of people. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people. 
they're scattered abroad throughout the world. No real Jews were Hebrews, black men who used to go there. Now, the only race of people that were brought over on ships and sold as bondmen and bondwomen, which are slaves, are the so-called African Americans. Specifically, the people who have been sent all over the earth on slave ships, those people are superior, even in the most high's eyes himself, because those people are the Israelites. And there's a scripture that says, not only it says, if you bless them, you'll be blessed. There's also one that says, you have to cling to them or you can't even be saved. I know that black people here are the true Hebrew Israelites. I know that. Matthew's on the cable. Yeah. You see the one about lions? Yeah. Look at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out there. He's laying down under a tree in the middle of Africa. He's so big. He's so hot. He doesn't want to move. Now, the little lion comes. They start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. The lioness, she starts messing with him. Coming over, making trouble. Still, nothing. Now, the other animals, they notice this, and they start to move in. The jackals, hyenas, they're barking at him, laughing at him. They nip his toes and eat the food that's in his domain. They do this, and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder, till one day, that lion gets up and tears the shit out of everybody. Runs like the wind, eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. First, we see one of the suspects kick the side view mirror, then smack it off into the intersection of 15th and Chestnut Streets. The driver immediately gets out to confront him. What happens next is horrible. You see the man is punched, he drops. Then a mob of students start kicking and punching him repeatedly until someone breaks it up. The victim is left motionless on the street until an ambulance comes. You should have destroyed this book, you dumb so-called white people. Yeah. Instead of going around and trying to use the Bible, the Bible is the book that's going to destroy your world. Exodus 422.